Talking college basketball with Tim O'Shea, former Bryant head coach. And all right, let's talk about PC here. And you mentioned AJ Reeves the other night on the bracket breakdown. When he gets hot, this PC team is a different team. Is he the X factor for you at Madison Square Garden? Well, there's nothing more important in college basketball today than great three-point shooting. Mm -hmm. It is the thing that allows you to separate in close games. And Reeves is a special shooter. I mean, you saw it early on. In fact, I think Joe Hassett even called him the best uh, shooter he'd seen in Providence College in recent memory. Providence got all the other parts, and when they struggled this year, Reeves was hurting out of the mm -hmm. game. They might have had two or three more wins now had he been able to stay healthy. So it's a great time to get him back, and he is a huge difference maker. Now you mentioned, you know, they've beaten Butler twice. They can beat him a third time if they're sure. maybe just the better team than the Bulldogs. The Villanova team, they usually knock off Nova once a year. They right, haven't right. this year. Are they due to beat Villanova? Should they face off in the 8-1 well, matchup? The one huge advantage Providence is going to have is they're going to go in there with a little chip on their shoulder, a certain desperation to win because they know the only way they can get in the tournament right now, they need to right. pull off a big upset like that. Villanova, on the other hand, they're in. They're good to go. They're right. going to be in the field. Uh, so I think psychologically Providence has advantage, and there's no doubt in my mind that Providence players to a man believe they can beat Villanova, and I think they can. I think they're more than talented enough to pull that off. Now we know if URI beats LaSalle, they get VCU the one seed. The only team comfortably into the tournament, that's a one big league, right. one big league unless someone takes one. Um, so if they can beat VCU at that point, because they have to win four right. games, which right. is hard to do, at that point you give them a good shot at winning? You know, that's a lot of momentum. That yeah. would be what, uh, five, six straight wins? That's right. Their, their confidence is going to be through the roof. So uh, why not? Somebody's going to do it. There's going to be a team this year that's going to go in very similar to a Rhode Island hot yeah. and run the table and get the, um, get the at-large bid. You or I was awful as a three-point shooting team most of the year. Right. They've started to shoot the ball better. Right. Um, how have you seen teams succeed once they sort of just get hot? Or sometimes well, when the shots aren't falling, you're doomed, right? The, the key thing for a coach is you feel confidence. You know when your team doesn't have it. And when your team starts to get it, and there's a sort of a history of success in a program yeah. like URI has from a year ago and the year before, guys like Fats and Doughton, they really start to believe. And mm -hmm. the other guys start to le believe. Levine, uh, what's the kid, Lajavine? Yeah, he's a terrific player. They've got enough talent to do it. Um, you know, if you're going to get hot, this is the time to do it. And URI seems to be one of those teams that's got an upward trend going right now. We're going to talk about the whole field of 68 uh, this coming Sunday. But give me, you know, two, three, four teams you really like around the country right now? Well, I mean, the, the obvious. I saw North Carolina play at Boston College a few weeks ago. I couldn't have been more impressed. I, I mean, they were just a machine. Yeah. Uh, so obviously North Carolina. Um, Duke gets Zion back. Um, you've got to like their chances. I think Virginia's going to make a run this year. They had that crazy fluky upset right. a year ago. Tony Bennett's one of the best in the business. I think they're sort of got something to prove. Yeah. I could see them making a serious run. Uh, Michigan State always finds a way uh, to be in the mix. Um, there are probably 10 teams that can realistically win the national championship. Gonzaga has had a great, great uh, run out west. They've been to a championship game a few years ago. Um, there's no reason not to believe they can't make a run right. again. So. All right. Well, this Sunday we'll have the full field of 68. We're going to break it down in the bracket breakdown. Tim O'Shea, thanks so much for joining us. Oh, thanks, Johnny.